Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So today's video, man, we got one coming up on that upcoming Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman undercard, and it looks like they're going to be having a bunch of badass fights on that undercard, and one of those fights is going to be friggin' your Dennis Ugas versus Omar Figueroa Jr., and not only is that fight going to be on the undercard, but they also got friggin' Caleb Plant versus Mike Lee, man. They also got on that mug Sergey Lipinitz versus John Molina Jr., a dude who arguably beat Omar Figueroa, so it's going to be a really entertaining fight seeing that, and it looks like all the damn fights on that undercard are going to be some badass entertaining fights, so I'm definitely going to be watching all the fights that are on that damn undercard because they all seem like they're going to be some banging ass fights, man, but going into the Yodinus Ugas versus Omar Figueroa Jr. fight, this is coming out in BoxingNews24.com where it states Yodinus Ugas versus Omar Figueroa Jr. on Pacquiao Thurman undercard on July 20th, and it also goes on in this article. The talented Yodinus Ugas will be battling former WBC lightweight champion Omar Figueroa Jr. in a WBC welterweight title eliminator on the undercard of Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman on July 20th on Fox Sports pay-per-view at the MGM Grand Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Ugas versus Figueroa Jr. fight hasn't been made official yet, according to Dan Raphael, but it's expected to. It's a great fight for the card. Quote. Now, with this fight coming up, man, it's also stated that this is going to be a title eliminator for that damn WBC belt. So the winner of this fight is going to be the mandatory to whoever wins that WBC belt in the fight between Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter. And it's kind of funny because I actually had your Dennis Ugas beating Sean Porter when they had fought, but it is what it is. Sean Porter was able to squeak away with that damn decision. But it's still cool that they're giving your Dennis Ugas a chance to be able to fight in a title eliminator, to be able to get a second chance at that damn title. Now, going up against a fight with Omar Figueroa Jr., the main reason I'm liking this fight, and I think that this is going to be a really good fight, just because of the clash in styles between these two opponents. You got to do like your Dennis Ugas, who is a very technical, very counter-punching type of fighter, man. He waits on his opponents to do something, and he pretty much gauges what he does off of his opponents, and he's going up against a dude who does not wait for anything. He's the type of dude in Omar Figueroa who will come at your ass, man. He will make this a friggin' fight. He will make it a barn burner type of fight. And it's funny that the homie is undefeated. I think the homie's like, like what, 28-0 and or something like that. But it's funny that he's undefeated because his friggin' defense is lacking like a mug, dog. I mean, I don't know what kind of defense he'd be friggin' working on, but the one thing you can say about Omar Figueroa is the homie is friggin' hella tough, man. Homie is hella gritty, and he does not play around in that damn ring, man. So I think that's definitely gonna make this a very good fight just because of the clash in styles. And one of the main things these two dudes have in common is that both of these dudes are moving up from 140. And your Dennis guys, he's pretty much been on a tear since he's come up to the 147 pound division. The homie definitely looks bigger. The homie looks stronger. He's actually been knocking out fools at that 147 pounds. And then you got a dude like Omar Figueroa Jr., who actually kind of had a very controversial decision win against friggin' John Molina Jr. So it is what it is. But at the same time, still going to make for a very exciting fight. And like I said, the clash in styles in this damn fight is definitely going to make this fight worth watching. Now, going into the stats with these dudes, you got... Omar Figueroa, who I think is about 5'7". Your Dennis Ugas, he's about 5'9". So he's going to be the bigger fighter going into this fight. But then you got Omar Figueroa, who does have a nice little reach advantage. I think he has like a 73-inch reach. And then you got your Dennis Ugas, who has a 69-inch reach. But the only thing that I don't think is going to make such a difference from that reach is that you don't have a dude like Omar Figueroa Jr. who works off of his friggin' jab like that. The homie is just a come-forward type of fighter, man. The dude will make it a fight. And that's what is going to make this so exciting because he will bring the fight to your Dennis Ugas. But at the same time, your Dennis Ugas can use that to be able to capitalize on his counter punches just for the simple fact is your Dennis Ugas is the type of dude that will sit back and wait for you to do something and capitalize on that. And Omar Figueroa Jr. will definitely 
give your Dennis Ugas a lot of different things to be able to work off of because of this particular style. Now, personally, going into this fight, I actually think that your Dennis Ugas can win this damn fight, dude. I actually think that he can pick apart a dude like Omar Figueroa. Not really sure how Omar Figueroa is going to be able to handle his power. Just for the simple fact is, like I said, Omar Figueroa, he really hasn't fought too many times at 147. The only fights that he has at 147 is when he fought Robert Guerrero. He fought friggin' John Molina Jr., and even in those particular weights, those particular dudes ain't friggin' knocking out everybody that they're facing at that damn 147 pound division. Just for the simple fact is, even a dude like John Molina Jr., man, he was mostly fighting at 140. So his first fight at the welterweight division was against Omar Figueroa Jr. So I'm not really sure how Omar Figueroa is going to be able to handle the power over your Dennis Ugas. But in his past couple of fights, like I said, that fool has been knocking out fools at that 147 pound division. So I know he's got that crack at that 147 pound division. Like I said, the homie looks bigger. The homie looks stronger. He's definitely been taking out fools at that damn division. So it's definitely going to be a fun fight to watch. But if I had to pick a winner in this damn fight, I would definitely Definitely pick your Dennis Ugas personally, just for the simple fact is Omar Figueroa's defense is very much lacking. He doesn't have the defense over your Dennis Ugas, and I definitely think that your Dennis Ugas will be able to capitalize off of Omar Figueroa's fighting style. And the only way that I could see Figueroa being able to beat a dude like your Dennis Ugas is keeping the pressure on him nonstop, not giving Ugas any kind of time to freaking calculate anything, any time to think. And if he does that, he can definitely get a decision win in this fight. I definitely don't see him stopping your Dennis Ugas, but if I had to pick, I would definitely pick a dude like Ugas to be able to get a decision victory in this damn fight, or maybe even a late stoppage if Figueroa cannot handle his power, but I guess only time is going to be able to tell when this fight does happen, but when this fight does happen, it's definitely going to be a badass fight and an entertaining ass fight to be able to watch on that damn night, all right, you guys, so I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so i hope you like the video holla at your boy